Yo yo people, Gary to Dune here for another video and this video is going to be in Farming Simulator 19 and today we are going to be working at the fire station and by that I mean we're actually going to be working here. We aren't just building the structures, we aren't just transporting vehicles, we are going to do some physical calls. Now with that being said, we first have to fill these up with water. So, I've already filled this one up. There's a hydrant just outside of here. It's weird that there isn't any on our property, because we are a fire station and all, but <laughs> it's okay nevertheless. I guess the city was just trying to save some money. So yeah, I think we're gonna start off by actually filling up this water tanker. Now this is one of my favorite, and I know definitely a lot of your guys' favorite vehicles that we have, since it has that ripped American flag on the side, and just overall looks really, really cool. So we just got to bring this right over here and we should be good to fill on up. So here we go and you can see our vehicle is actually lowering down and that's because the water actually has some weight which is really cool to see. I didn't even know that the game had the mechanic for it but it does and we also got a lot of mud on us. I'm not too sure how that happened. I guess we are driving in a pretty dirty area so that could be what caused it. But now that this one is full, we can grab the next. And of course, filling up ladder one is definitely a priority. So let's get the engine going. Let's turn on the ladder one light. Okay, that looks really cool. And this is the ladder truck that has the bucket attached. We do have another one without this bucket, but I like this better. It's just more cool, you know? Now I opened up our control menu so you guys can see exactly what I am doing. Pretty much, you drive right beside the hydrant, and then you'll see it says press R to start filling. So I simply am clicking that, and the game does the rest of the work. Now that we're full on water, we can reverse back in to our storage area. There we go. Nice and smoothly. Don't want to hit anything. Now, I could sit here and have you guys watch me filling all these up, but it's going to take a very long time. So I'm going to do a bunch of them off camera, and I'll see you guys once we're ready to go on a call. Okay, we just got our first call. It is a fire at the docks. Let's get moving. To start off, I want to bring over the battalion vehicle. We got to get to the scene and figure out what equipment is needed. So our lights are on. Let's throw on the siren and get to this area as soon as possible. Luckily, this call is not too far away. It's actually probably one of the closest locations we're going to ever get. But we still need to get there as fast as possible. And I can see the flames in the distance. That's not good. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? This tree is completely engulfed in flames and it is spreading quickly. As you can tell, there are now three trees that look to have been caught on fire, maybe even four. We are definitely going to need some backup. The first actual engine we will be taking is this water tanker. And that's because I don't know how big this fire is going to spread to. Uh, it's already gotten quite large and it's only been a very short time. And obviously this fire has so much oxygen getting to it, it's not enclosed by any means. So yeah, it's going to just keep going if we don't take it out soon. I can barely see what's happening, but we are at the fire. Here we go. All right. I will shut off the engine and let's grab the next one. The next vehicle we're taking is definitely the FL70. This thing is an absolute beast. It not only looks cool, but it does pretty much everything we will need for this call. So like always, turn on the lights, turn on the siren, and let's get moving. Now one thing I really like about our location is that we usually won't be called over to any cities. And that's beneficial because city fires are a whole nother thing. But here we go. Oh geez. Okay, I'm losing traction. What is happening with this vehicle? It's not driving correctly. Come on, let's just get to the scene as fast as we can. Are you going to make this turn properly? Kind of. Oh no. What? How are we drifting? When was drifting part of the game? Uh oh. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Okay, let's grab another engine. I'm really not sure how we got that last one stuck. This Pierce engine should be able to do the trick. I don't expect it to get stuck like the last one. We are definitely still struggling to keep traction. I'm assuming it's due to the uneven ground. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, we're good, we're good. We recovered. No issues, just pretend nothing happened there. And we'll just park up right over here, right by the fire. Here we go. Okay, let's grab our hoses. I got all my gear on. And I'm gonna 
say let's start spraying this left tree because if the fire keeps going to the left we are gonna have a big issue it's just gonna spread out of control as if it hasn't already done that but if the fire spreads to the right hand side it's not as big an issue there's only one or two trees over there so i'm a lot more comfortable with that being the risk so we seem to have gotten this fire a bit smaller i'm gonna start hitting the other main area because if this keeps going we're gonna have too hot of coals hitting the ground here we go come on keep taking her out we are definitely running into an issue here this tree is too tall if i look all the ways up our hose will not reach there even though we're at max psi so let's go ahead and grab our ladder truck come on come on let's run on through here we go here we go where is the ladder truck uh, it's at the other side okay here we are let's open this big door and get this bad boy started we should be all full on water i just filled her up a few hours ago let's turn on the lights turn on the siren and head on to the scene and the reason i am driving ladder truck 2 instead of ladder truck 1 is because this doesn't have the bucket we have no purpose for that usually the bucket just causes issues we only really need it at scenes where there are victims and this is definitely one that doesn't have that all right where should we park this uh i'm gonna say maybe right over here it should give us a pretty good vantage point we can turn off the siren and hop on out our support rigs are extending there we are they have now lifted up the back end which means we should be good to hop on the ladder so now let's raise the ladder up there we go and okay this is so tall i don't even know how we're supposed to see it i don't really have a good view for you guys i apologize for that now we should be able to just press g to activate the hose now that we've adjusted the hose we should be all set i'm just going to climb up the ladder to take a quick look why are you shaking so much um okay that's a little scary but let's just see what's happening and yeah okay it is hitting it pretty good the top part of the tree is just gonna have to burn off we can go back to our hose and start hitting from the ground now that we're hitting from the ground and from aerial it should be taken out a lot faster let's just hose down this tree as well i definitely see it decreasing really quickly here and i guess this is a good time to ask you guys if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on this video it helps out a ton but also if you wouldn't mind considering subscribing and if you do subscribe click the notification bell so you actually know when videos are out in the future all right i think I think the fire is out for the most part. I'm still spraying it down just because I don't want it to reignite and there could definitely still be a lot of hot coals hitting the ground. So we'll just keep going just like so. And I guess we could probably turn off the hose that is at the end of the ladder. So let's go ahead and do that. But we first got to put away our handheld hose. So we'll go just like so. And let's hop in the control seat. Again, the button is G to turn off the water. You see it going all the ways back into the hose. We can bring everything back on down. All right, now all we gotta do is lower it into place, just like so. I think that's pretty good. We're probably a little bit off center. And then our support rigs can be folded in as well. Perfect, nicely done, all right. And I guess this means ladder two is ready to head back to the station. So that's the end of this video. Why not click this secret video in the top right corner? But first, make sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up button down below. That's also where you can find my Discord server, in the description. There are many different links, such as my Twitter, Instagram, Patreon page, merchandise store, and even the Garrett Plays membership link. You guys are awesome. Bye bye. Okay, I know I just ended the video, but you guys who are watching are the true fans, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a few different things. Number one, the map I recorded this video on is called Paradise. It is made by Lambo and Winston. You guys can find it, I believe, on their website and probably on their Patreon page as well. Now, besides that, I wanted to address the microphone change that happened in this video. Uh, I'm now not using a Blue Yeti. I'm using a Shure SM7B. Now, this was a very big decision to purchase this mic. It was not just bought for the sake of recording YouTube videos. I got it for my career as well in filmmaking. It's a great voiceover microphone. And my Blue Yeti was having some very big issues. You guys were mentioning them in the videos. So for a bunch of reasons, I ended up getting this mic. 
And to wrap up this video, I just wanted to quickly say thank you. All of this would not have been possible if it wasn't for you guys leaving these very supportive comments and giving me quite useful feedback to make better and better content. Views have been up so high on the channel recently, higher than I've ever seen them before. And that's saying something since I've been doing YouTube for many, many years. Started back in 2011 with posting, but as many of you know, me and my best friend back in the day recorded videos two years prior and just didn't know how to actually upload them. So 2009 till 2021 has been this channel's history and we have so much further to go. I'm not stopping anytime soon. You guys are awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Bye bye.